pacemakers.
seems there were these uh, two senior couples having dinner over at one of, their, one of the couple's homes. And after dinner, the wives got up and went into the kitchen and started clearing the dishes, put the food away. And the two men sat at the table and they just struck up a conversation, started asking questions and sharing the day's news, etc. And the one fellow, we'll call him Charlie, said to Tom, boy, he said, the wife and I went out to this really neat restaurant last night. I would highly recommend it. So Tom said to Charlie, he said, well, what's, what's the name of the restaurant? Well, Charlie threw his growl a little bit, trying to remember what was the name of that restaurant. Well, like a lot of us, I know I do. If I can't remember something, I kind of go through the alphabet. A, B, C, see what I can line up. Anybody else do that kind of thing? Okay. So Tom, or Charlie says to Tom, he said, uh, See, maybe you can help me, but we'll do a little word association or something. It'll probably come to my mind. So Charlie says to Tom, he says, What's that flower that a lot of men buy for their ladies? And Tom thought for a moment, he said, A, a carnation. He said, no, 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 that's not it. He said, uh, it's kind of a, a reddish looking flower. And so Tom said, well, must, maybe it's a poppy. He said, no, 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 no. He said, it's a red one that's got thorns. Oh, yeah, yeah, he said, I know what it is. He says, it's a rose. Ah, a rose, that's right, thank you. Charlie stood up and looked toward the kitchen and said, hey, Rose, what was the name of that restaurant? <laughs>